हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैथ्स क्लास दिस इज फिफ्थ क्लास ऑन वेक्टर अलजिब्रा चैप्टर इन फर्स्ट फोर क्लासेस वी लर्न थीरी पार्ट रिलेटेड टू फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज वेरी वेल बेसिक डेफिनेशंस ऑफ वेक्टर अलजिब्रा टिल नाउ व्हाट यू लर्न आर इंपॉर्टेंट टिल नाउ व्हाट एवर द डेफिनेशंस वी लर्न इन दैट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ वेक्टर इज इंपॉर्टेंट सेकंड वन multiplication of a vector by a scalar that is important third one the definition of unit vector and its direction fourth one the definition of collinear vectors you must know these definitions to do these problems very easily in case if you not watch it all those definitions i'll give that playlist link here in cards you can find before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class you see first question in this exercise number 10.1 what is the first question represent graphically what to represent graphically displacement of 40 km 30 degrees east of north you observe i consider east west north south i need to represent graphically a displacement of 40 km and 30 degrees east of north first displacement of 40 km they are saying na I'll mark that displacement of uh, 40 kilometers. This is the displacement of 40 kilometers. I'll suppose 10, 20, 30, 40 like this. This is the displacement of 40 kilometers. Okay. Now, further, what they are saying? What is the direction? 30 degrees east of north. Many students confuse here. East of north. East of north means from north you need to achieve east. east of north means from north you need to achieve east from north you need to achieve east means this angle north to east east of north means you need to consider north to east what is this they are saying this is 30 degrees so i represented the displacement which is of 40 kilometers and 30 degrees east of north question number 2 what they are asking classify the following measure as scalars and vectors they given some measures here we need to classify are they scalars or vectors okay you already know the definition of scalar and vector what is the definition of scalar a physical quantity which is having only magnitude but no direction is called a scalar what is vector a physical quantity which is having both magnitude and direction is called vector you observe this first one this is 10 kg in this what is this 10 kg magnitude is there in this magnitude is 10 any direction is there here no so it is a physical quantity which is having only magnitude but no direction moreover it is mass mass is a scalar so this is the physical quantity which is having only magnitude but no direction that's why this is scalar okay you observe the second one 2 meters northwest here in this physical quantity magnitude is there yes magnitude is there in this physical quantity direction is there yes north west direction is there this is the physical quantity which is having both magnitude and direction so this measure is a vector why it is a vector because it is a physical quantity which is having both magnitude and direction you observe this 40 degrees you observe this 40 degrees can you observe any direction here no it is just a magnitude 40 degrees is just a magnitude so this is the physical quantity which is having only magnitude but no direction so 40 degrees is what 40 degrees is a scalar okay now you see here 40 watt 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 is the units of power units of power power is a scalar quantity because power is work done by time work done is a scalar time also scalar so 40 watt is a scalar you observe this next bit 10 power minus 19 coulombs coulombs these are the units of electric charge electric charge is a scalar in this no direction is there this is the physical quantity which is having only magnitude so this is scalar i hope you are understanding now you see 20 meter per second square 
meter per second square are the units of acceleration in the first class only we learned velocity force acceleration are the vectors these are the units of acceleration so 20 meter per second square so this is the physical quantity which is having both magnitude and direction so it is a vector this is vector quantity i hope you understand this you observe this question number three what they are asking in this question classify the following as scalar and vector quantities here they are given 5 bits by seeing these 5 bits you need to decide are they vectors or scalars. See these are the standard terms. Time period while explaining the definition of scalar I explained that time is a scalar quantity. So here time period what is time period this is a scalar quantity ok. Distance distance is also scalar quantity these are the standard terms those who are studying physics they can easily say what they are they are vectors or scalars distance distance is the physical quantity which is having only magnitude but no direction so distance is a scalar quantity force I given detailed explanation when vector definition is going on force is clearly vector quantity force is a physical quantity which is having both magnitude and direction so this is vector force is a vector quantity i explained this more clearly in the first class of vector chapter right force is a vector quantity velocity is a vector quantity acceleration is a vector quantity so here velocity what is velocity velocity is a vector quantity right work done clearly in uh, last bit also I explained work done is a scalar work done is a physical quantity which is having which is having only magnitude but no direction work done is a scalar quantity so whatever the terms are written here these are the standard terms time scalar distance scalar force vector velocity vector work done scalar okay yes you observe this question number four in figure they are saying it is a square this figure they given in the question they are saying it is a square identify the following vectors you observe first bit co initial vectors co initial vectors means the vectors which are having same initial point are called co initial vectors you observe this diagram see a bar is the vector directed like this you see your direction given here this is the vector directed like this if the vector is directed like this this is the initial point of a bar this is the terminal point of a bar you know that in mathematics vectors are represented by a directed line segment and you observe this vector this vector named as d bar this vector is named as d bar this direction is you observe here this is in this direction that means this is the initial point this is the terminal point you observe the vectors a bar initial point is this d bar initial point is this that means a bar comma d bar are the vectors which are having same initial point what is the definition of co-initial vectors? Vectors which are having same initial point are called co-initial vectors. Here, what are the vectors which are having same initial point? A bar and D bar are the vectors which are co-initial because these are the vectors having same initial point. Okay. Second one you see. Equal vectors. In this diagram, which of the following are equal vectors? equal vectors you learn this definition equal vectors means the vectors which are having same magnitude and same direction as this is a square all four vectors are having equal magnitude only now we want which are in the same direction you observe this vector a bar and c bar a bar is in this direction c bar is in opposite direction these are not equal vectors you observe this d bar b bar d bar b bar as it is a square both are having same magnitude direction of d bar is like this direction of b bar is like this the vectors d bars b bars have same direction the vectors having same magnitude and same direction so d bar comma b bar are the equal vectors so d bar comma b bar are the equal vectors now you observe third one collinear but not equal collinear vectors you learned this in last class. What are collinear vectors? Vectors which lie on a same line or on parallel lines. Vectors which lie on a same line or on parallel lines are called collinear vectors. Collinear vectors but not equal. They are saying the vectors are collinear but not equal. You observe B bar, D bar. B bar, D bar are the 
parallel vectors. You know that collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. B bar, D bar are the collinear vectors. But here B bar, D bar are equal vectors. In the question they are saying that the vectors which are collinear but not equal. Actually these are collinear vectors. But in the question they are saying that the collinear but not equal. As these are equal I cannot consider these two. Now you observe A bar, C bar. A bar, C bar are they parallel? Parallel means no need of direction. You observe this is in this direction. This is exactly opposite direction. These two vectors are parallel or not as it is a square. Opposite sides are parallel. This and this are parallel. Remember collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. So here A bar comma C bar are the collinear vectors. They are not equal. Th you observe are they equal? Their magnitude is same but their direction is not same. This is going like this. This is going like this. So A bar comma C bar are the collinear vectors. Collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. So A bar comma C bar are the collinear vectors but not equal. I hope you understand this. You observe the last question. What they are asking? Answer the following as true or false. By reading the statement you need to identify whether it is true or false. To understand this you must know the definition of collinear vectors. I explained the definition of collinear vectors in last class. What are collinear vectors? Vectors which lie on same line or on parallel lines are called collinear vectors. And if two vectors A bar comma B bar are collinear then one vector can be expressed as scalar multiplication of other vector. Okay you observe here for this vector if you multiply with minus you are getting this vector. You know that A bar M A bar are collinear vectors. So here A bar minus A bar are collinear vectors because one vector can be expressed as scalar multiplication of other. Okay. So here this is true or false? Yes it is true. You can understand this easily if you know the definition of collinear vectors. Now you observe the second one. Two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude. Two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude. In the definition of collinear vectors there is no such condition. What is the definition of collinear vectors? Vectors which lie on same line or on parallel lines. There is no condition related to magnitude. What they are saying two collinear vectors always equal in magnitude. They are saying always. They may be equal, may not be equal. But we cannot say that always equal in magnitude. Collinear vectors always equal in magnitude. This always is the wrong term here. Right. So this is false. This statement is false. You can understand these things only when you are good in the definition of collinear vectors. Okay. Now you observe two vectors having same magnitude. Two vectors having same magnitude are collinear. How can we say this? Two vectors having same magnitude are collinear. You observe here I consider two vectors with same magnitude. What they are saying two vectors having same magnitude are collinear. Collinear means what? Vectors which lie on a same line or on parallel lines. Even though these two vectors magnitude are equal but they are not parallel. So two vectors having same magnitude are collinear it's 100% wrong you can easily identify. So this is true or false this is false statement. Now last bit in this two collinear vectors have same magnitude are equal. Two collinear vectors having same magnitude are equal. Suppose this vector is in this direction this vector is in this direction. These vectors lies on parallel lines. Yes, these vectors lies on parallel lines. So these are collinear vectors. Whatever vectors I drawn here, they are collinear vectors. Are they equal vectors? What is the definition of equal vectors? Vectors which vectors which are having same magnitude and same direction. Here magnitude is same, but direction is not same. Na? Okay. So here these are the collinear vectors. These are the collinear vectors which are having same magnitude, but they are not equal. But what they are saying two collinear vectors having same magnitude are equal vectors they are saying this is wrong statement. So this is false. I hope you understand this first exercise solutions right. This is very easy exercise. You need basic definitions of vector algebra. If you like this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit. In case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.